A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this channeling session. I would be using tarot intuitive reading and my own bunch of cards which are around more than 1000. So let's see what tarot has to say. Tarot is usually very accurate for twin flames and star seeds. Especially now that the vibes are changing, the world is changing, we are in, you know, big time shift, 2024 onwards, you won't see so much of gatekeeping or false narratives, the world is definitely going to change, the change will become more and more tangible starting from now. So yeah, Queen of Pentacles and for the collective we have... Okay, this one came on its own. Ace of Pentacles, one more pentacle, and Page of Wands. So whosoever I'm channeling right now, I sense that those people are going to be in abundant energies. Your abundance will increase for sure. You will get financial help from divine, from source. You'll get resources for whatever projects and great work you're going to be doing. I also sense that there is more prosperity and wealth coming your way and this actually is supported by Ace of Pentacles which came right after that. I also sense that you're going to become a more practical person or you're already on the way. I mean whosoever is listening right now you have had a lot of conversations with yourself and with God whosoever you believe to be your supreme caretaker or maybe your spirit guides also those of you who have psychic abilities and you are in the illumination or harmonization phase you definitely are deeper into your inner work you understand twin flames much 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 uh, differently than people who are probably in the beginning stages of it or who have just arrived into this field i'm being shown that you are emotional you accept your emotional nature and you are actually accepting that you're an empath what i'm being shown over here is that practicality is increasing in you energy is increasing in you you have had a problem with fatigue and you know not feeling like doing anything but i think some of you worked on or you are planning to work on it or you know that is there somewhere around your energy field that you have realized that some of your habits that are stopping you from understanding more about ascension is coming from your paternal side and uh, because of which you you feel like you're not giving your hundred percent so you want to release it and for some people this is going to actually make you a more feminine person which means you're going to accept your feminine side your creative side your nurturing side without the fear of feminine energy okay so queen of pentacles actually brings abundance and wealth but it also teaches you the ability to love yourself better because a lot of times what happens is in this journey which is again instigated or induced by the kundalini which is also a feminine energy there is some kind of a fear of change or there is some kind of lack of trust which is there or you feel like this journey may not i mean wherever you're going journey is a word that can be used in long term also but whatever you're doing even at the moment you might be having some kind of fear about it so this energy brings in a person or an energy also it could be an energy it could be coming via a person or it could be coming in form of uh, dreams it could be coming in form of good habits you just researching and there is some kind of organized uh, organized energy that I sense you know maybe you are going to clean up a lot of clutter maybe you are going to remove things that you don't need or you are going to donate away things that you have been grateful for but you don't have any need for it or some kind of tangible change you will also see and this will help you in order to achieve your goals whichever goals you have kept so this is definitely a good card because it will also help you to 
use your skills and talents maybe you have skills and talents but you've been scared or you've been afraid you've been afraid of judgment you've been afraid of people what people are going to say what family members are going to say some kind of fear is there you know it was shown to me or it could be just fear of future what's going to happen in future what if whatever i'm doing it's not going to work out so on those lines you know it will kind of heal you and you will learn more about actual ad- abundance real abundance is not just about money and cash and having lots and lots in your bank account real abundance is an inner thing you feel like you are on top of the world and that feeling will be with you because of the ace of pentacles i'm being shown some kind of good news will be given to you you will also get recognized maybe in the past you were not really recognized for your abilities for your skills for your gifts and i'm also being shown that in the past you also had to work on your emotional stability so there is of course some kind of progress not some kind of good amount of progress has been shown to me success has been shown to me this is definitely a very positive card to pop into this collective reading it brings in a lot of gifts and it brings in a lot of reassurance also maybe you have been doing something since a long time maybe a year two years three years have passed by but you were not getting the right type of uh, reassurance or assurance or a sign or a validation but your intuition was telling you inside you knew that you have taken the right decision that you have taken the right step but you just need to you know give it a little bit more of your confidence more of your faith into it and it will work out so all of that time has gone by and now i feel whatever you were putting your energy into this will begin to work out right now and you will definitely get the the material rewards as well as the spiritual peace of mind because lot of people get materialistic rewards like in karmic situations it happens that materialistically you feel okay wow i have achieved this or i have achieved that but there is internal peace is missing it happens in case of those dms who choose karmic connections and you know the feminine is left behind to wait for them so they feel many times this can happen vice versa a feminine also might choose a karmic and the masculine is left behind to wait and then while they are waiting the feminine is obviously feminine or masculine whosoever it is doing their inner work but the other person who seems to be enjoying and having a lot of success materialistically is actually suffering in silence there's a lot of pain first they cannot even point out like what is it all about but eventually they learn to point it out and they realize that they got the materialistic stuff but they did not get the actual love they seeked so this time it will be a combination of both i am simply picking on to the collective energy and i sense major uh, stability financially emotionally in your personal life also there are a lot of blessings actually waiting for you some spiritual gifts also are going to unlock for those people who are going to touch illumination because illumination is the stage where your gifts unlock because that is also the stage where you learn everything and you figure out about the greatest tool of raising frequency is actually forgiveness people can misunderstand you they can say a lot of mean things to you you can have arguments fights whatever but if you can forgive your own self for the bitterness and others for feeling the bitterness and then have like a good emotional um, understanding then that increases your gifts a lot and i think this is where it's actually gonna take you to so wow i mean such good energy that i'm picking on good luck abundance positive future and okay i'm not saying only in materialistic regards some of you are doing inner work since a long time you could be seeking for that source integration feeling you could have cried a lot of nights you could have asked god 
a lot of questions or maybe sometimes you feel that god actually loves you so much but you don't know why like what is it that you've done or why are you here so you definitely have a lot of questions so this card is going to help you out in those departments also okay so next i picked out the page of wands and i was also told that for some of you a new phase in your life is going to begin or it has already begun uh, this new phase required you to shed a lot of negative energy it had to uh, make you shed some bad habits from the past i mean we all have flaws and there is a youthful energy in you because of this card and i also sense that some individual who has either youthful energy youthful personality or you know age wise they are younger to you much younger to you or it's just like someone who has very like happy go lucky joy de vivre kind of energy maybe that kind of energy i sense around you so it's telling me that all those days of fatigue and laziness and not being able to get up is actually going to be going in the past now i also want to say here that we do talk about habits and other things but when we are not emotionally healed we are not able to do a lot of things so i do sense some of you are doing a lot of emotional healing or you are serious about your emotional healing in the past the universe has like opened up to you in the few past few days your intuition is taking you to the right place your faith is becoming stronger you know that you've not put your energy you have not invested your time and energy into something wrong something that you were fearful about so that kind of fear is going away because the emotional healing is happening when you are emotionally healed you know automatically you are able to do a lot of things which otherwise you were doing maybe some people do it a lot of people go to the gym a lot of people work out a lot of people manage to somehow you know do something good to their life but they still are doing it in the materialistic physical way it may not have impacted them the way it is going to impact you right now i also sense some lessons on loyalty uh some deep lessons on loyalty you learn maybe you'll find some loyal friendship or maybe some old relationship where you sensed loyalty was a factor somehow you will sense something more like it will be revealing to you the whole relationship or your whole experience will reveal something to you which will be again positive because of page of wands energy page of wands also brings good news you know you are blessed wow first card i picked from this i will show it to you you are blessed okay so this came right after i made this statement so definitely this is very nice a bit over sensitive too so you have been a bit over sensitive and i think that is the side you will heal and some of your sensitivity and empathy you will accept in the positive direction you have become mindful of the feelings you feel when somebody from your past is coming back to you wow and there is also one exercise that has popped up in this reading which says please write down what's your destiny number and add 7 to it and mention that in the comment section so basically destiny number is the total number your date month year that is your destiny number and add 7 to it and put that down in the comment section interesting justice will be served to you and it will be served as a hot and tasty meal just in case some people have troubled you i think whatever work you've done maybe recent work it will energize you in such a way you already energized even page of wands is a card of financial gain so i sense money abundance wealth all of that creative projects the greatest relationship that you can have is with yourself you have figured out this lesson try to read ramayan this is also one of the suggestions that has been given to you and there are some people around you who i feel don't 
have their desires met like their desires are incomplete and you can sense that their anger is coming from that standpoint because maybe they have put 10 years 15 years or maybe more or maybe less they've been working on something so you have some kind of compassion for those people you are somebody who has become very open to energies you can see other people's family patterns you can see their traumas you can see their pain and you have so much compassion and kindness for people you make prayers for people but of course sometimes you know we are making prayers for people and those prayers don't get accepted sometimes god says that those people don't want to change they don't want to be helped so why are you making a prayer for that person so in that case it's very important for you to understand where a person is and if a person is at a certain place you will be like okay this person needs to heal this person needs to work more on themselves but there is no negative energy there's no anger frustration some of you have also learned the lesson of vinamrata which means uh, talking in a way that you are very mindful of other people and that is going to take you places that i've been told okay uh, there's one more very great suggestion that i've been given for anybody who is troubled by a narcissistic person around you it is telling me that let go of the need of closure from the narc it may not come from that person accept it instead find the closure within yourself wow by accepting the past releasing the attachment and the need that they have created within you embrace yourself and your journey and let them go with love so love is the key lesson here in all these cards that i picked out from the auto reading and writing section however there is lot of luck factor abundance factor emotional stability and a lot of things working out for you i think for some of you it is also relationship patterns maybe in the last uh, few months or maybe years you have put in a lot of effort but there was always a fear is it going to work out or not but i think you are becoming more of a fearless person now you are becoming like it's okay i mean whatever it is i'm fine with it it is what it is kind of energy you have right now and that is making you a very joyful person accepting whatever is there is for your best actually there's no need to wrestle with it there's no need to fight with it and if in some cases you need to wrestle you need to have a talk with god you need to ask questions please go ahead and do it there will be some tears and there will be some pain that will get released but i think that will be worth it god loves you your masters love you your spirit guides love you and you are in this wonderful twin flame ascension journey the star seed ascension journey and for some of you you call it the light worker ascension journey it is the greatest place to be in trust me on that so on this note i'm going to close this channeling session for personal readings tarot readings and energy healing sessions for therapy you can check out the description box and you can write to me at the sunamoon at gmail.com if you're from india then you have to ask my details and otherwise the paypal link works just fine thank you so much for all of the wonderful inner work you're doing one love peace out and victory to ram